Welcome back to Triple Bogey Golf. Today, I'm excited to review the SigPro Softy 4x7 golf mat and hitting strip. I've been using it for nearly a year now, and I've decided to order a replacement strip. I want to dive into the setup, the dimensions, its durability, the performance, and the impact it has on my joints. We'll talk about if it truly eliminates that turf shock problem that we have with indoor golf mats. All right, let's start with unboxing your SigPro Softy hitting mat. It comes in about a four foot by four foot box, eight inches thick. It's lightweight, weighs only about 21 pounds, yet it grips to the floor very well when you're hitting on it. Uh, it's two pieces. There's a third piece, and that is the actual hitting strip. Let's take a look. So your first piece is gonna be stance mat, and this stance mat's gonna have the jigsaw end to connect to the second piece. Thickness, two and three eighths inches thick. I'll put the dimensions up on the screen right here. Your second piece is gonna have the hitting strip in the center, which is right here. And on the back side of it, you're gonna see where it interlocks with the first piece. If I show you on the side, it is money putt turf, or I think the closest thing to it is money putt turf. It appears to me it is glued on to two inch thick EVA foam. And to get this down to my sim area, I'm gonna take the first piece, slide that into place. I'll take the second piece, put that in the corner. And then I'll slide it down into place. So this is our stance mat. And the last piece in the box is gonna be the hitting strip. The hitting strip's got about one inch of dense turf, followed up by the outside border. has got a kind of a firmer foam, but underneath it's got air pockets to sort of relieve and allow it to squish. And it's got a very lightweight, softer foam on the bottom. So when you push on it, it actually kind of compresses and I'll show some videos of that later. There you have it. Okay, now let's talk about durability. I've had this nearly a year, and what I would say is I'm probably easily close to the 1,500 shots in a month with the people that come over and play and the amount that I practice, uh, sim golf tour, etc. So I think it's pretty safe to say that there's probably 15 to 20,000 shots have been hit on this strip. And what you can see is a slight little kind of trough wearing in the center. Um, if I put a ball on here and kind of just let it rock, it probably gives you a better visual of what I'm talking about. There is clearly a spot where the ball would like to go. Um, so lately I've been hitting off, you know, the side and this side to kind of even it out. Here's the new strip, the new hitting turf I got from the indoor golf shop as a replacement to my original SIG Pro strip. And the first thing they said to increase the durability and to make this last longer is something I did not do and should have, is they say draw a black line down the center of your strip, hit from this side for a while, varying your strike point left to right, and then flip it and hit from this side, varying your strike point. I really do think I probably could have gotten two years out of the hitting strip if I wouldn't have put my hitting spot in the dead center and hit from the dead center on every shot over the last year. So how long will this last? I think the $250 strip could last you a couple of years if you were to hit off one half and then hit off the other and then tell people, you know, you don't always have to hit from the dead center of the strip. You can hit from the left side, right side, and sort of vary where your strike points are um, and use both halves. So that's kind of a pro tip they offer on their website on how to make your hitting strip last a little bit longer. Real quick, the last thing I'm sure some of you noticed, I've got this on my hitting strip. What I did on my original, and I'll do it again on my, on my replacement, is I drilled a little hole in the side of the strip, um, and I put in a uh, zip tie, is what I actually ended up using, a zip tie, and I tightened it down, and then I put a ring on there. And this ring barely, it doesn't actually stick above, it actually sticks slightly below the turf. What that allows me to do is to clip on my K2Ts for when I'm, uh, hitting balls off of a tee, and then the bungee returns the tee to the same spot every time. It's kind of been a handy little hack that I've had with the Sig Pro Softy hitting strip. All right, it's time to replace the strip. So we'll take the new one that we got out of the box. We'll set it in the, into place. Give it a push down, and we're done. And there you have it. We've replaced the strip. 
We've got rid of that concave spot. We've got a brand new surface to hit from. Very easy to do. And this time, instead of getting nearly a year of use out of this, we're going to try drawing that line, hitting off the front half, hitting off the back half, varying from left to right to where we hit. And I wouldn't be surprised if I can get a year and a half to two years out of one of these hitting strips. Real quick, if you're finding this content useful, hit that subscribe button. You can head over to the channel and find out other videos like floor projection, show how I project data from GS Pro onto the floor of my sim. I've got other videos about uh, how I built this simulator flooring, adding impact vision to your floor, webcam putting, and more. Thanks for watching. Let's get back to how this hitting strip performs. All right, now the most important part. Let's jump into GS Pro, hit a few shots, and talk about performance and feel. Okay, first thing I want to show you is when you step on this with a foot, you can really see, I don't know if you can tell in the video, you can see it compress. There's a lot of room for compression um, when you do. Now, if I hit my club on it, the ball isn't necessarily moving, which you don't want to hit it short and have the ball pop up. I'm also noticing that when I swing on it, the club isn't like getting caught in the grass blades. You know, you have the longer grass blades, you can really get concerned about getting caught. It's not doing that. Um, but you can see it compresses the blow, kind of makes a thump sound, which not the cleanest sound, but you're not really buying a hitting mat for sound. All right, let's hit a few shots. And what I would say is that's a very crisp, realistic feeling to the golf shot. It's just a good, crisp, realistic feel to the turf. It sort of feels like you're taking a normal shot with a little bit of a divot. And I think the biggest thing that I've noticed using this mat over the last year is I really don't have the wrist, the elbow, and the joint pain that I had when I had one of the less expensive mats with no padding underneath. It's just a solid feeling, crisp mat that feels extremely realistic. I can't tell you how much it's reduced the joint and elbow pain that I've had over the last year. If you use this for putting, I putt right off of my mat. It does have a little bit of a drop, but it's only about a tenth of an inch. But with the mat being as smooth and roughly the same speed as my money putt turf here, um, it's a great mat if you're gonna putt off of in your home simulator. And the last thing I would say is if you wanna use a tee, on this turf, you can. Um, you may need to modify the height of tees that you get as this one is as far deep as it goes. Um, basically, you can put it in about halfway. Set a ball and we can hit right off of real tees if you'd like. The K2 attachment that I have is just a little clip. And I find that little deal down here and we clip it in. And then we put the tee on here and we just hit off it like this. That goes, the bungee brings it right back to where it was. I would recommend this mat to anybody. I'm not obviously sponsored. This is just something I use. I wanted to put a review out, and I thought, heck, after a full year of use, I could give you a fair uh, assessment of, how, of what it's like and give you a better idea if it's something you want to use in your home simulator. To wrap things up, the Sig Pro Softy has held up extremely well over the last 12 months of nearly daily use. The fact that I can easily replace the hitting strip makes this golf mat a great long-term investment. If you're looking for a durable, extremely soft, joint-friendly hitting mat that provides you true, realistic feedback, then this might be the one for you. Thanks for watching, and remember, when golf gives you triples, go out and make some birdies. Don't forget to like the video, comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions, and subscribe if you want to see more golf content like this. We will see you guys in the next one.